Hey, tonight we're talking about toxic heavy metals. That's one thing we're going to talk about there. And the symptoms and conditions that toxic heavy metals cause, yep, or contribute to. That's a big deal, you know, and toxic heavy metals, controversial topic, starting way back when I used to talk about it years and years and years ago. First of all, people are like, what? What are you talking about? Number one. Number two, it was controversial, of course. I'm going to walk you through the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse. So I'm going to walk you through heavy metal detox cleanse. And that's really, you know, I haven't walked you guys through any cleanses yet. So I'm going to, we're going to do a little walkthrough on that. That's important right there. The heavy metal detox cleanse is a morning routine cleanse, you guys. It's a morning routine, but with an added bonus of removing toxic heavy metals. And that's what we want. Metals that are very much responsible for many of our symptoms and conditions that plague people, literally plague people. Hey everybody, I'm glad we're here because we got a lot to talk, we got a, we got a lot to talk about. Um, anxiety, right? Toxic heavy metals are a very big part of anxiety. R crippling anxiety conditions, depression. Like depression where, why am I depressed? Things aren't that bad. Life is okay. Things are kind of going all right, but I'm cl clinically depressed or I'm just so devastatingly depressed or no one understands my depression. Toxic heavy metals involve their brain fog. A big contributor to brain fog, right? How about that one? Anybody deal with that? You guys, depersonalization. How about depersonalization? Toxic heavy metal, especially when we don't know why we have that depersonalization. We always try to do band-aids out there for all these things. Like we're trying to do the meditation. I've seen people do that for 40 years. I've seen people do, you know, all different breath work and they do all kinds of positive, you know, everything from affirmations, all the band-aids we use to try to push by and, <clears throat> and spiritually grow and spiritually get better while we're healing and all that. But when the toxic heavy metals are there, it gets in the way. It gets in the way because I've seen people work so hard to try to get their lives back and try to get out of that depersonalization, that depression, that anxiety, and then they get hung up. They're just, they get, and they fight for it, but they're still sick, and that's really hard for people. Focus and concentration issues, that's one right there. Bipolar, that's one right there. Asperger's, another one right there. Toxic heavy metals, right? ADHD, autism, Parkinson's. Parkinson's, toxic heavy metals. Do you know somebody that's getting those kinds of symptoms? Dementia, memory loss, ALS, and more. I mean, we're talking about toxic heavy metals. <clears throat> Gotta tell you guys something. Cleanse and heal. This is, this is actually unbelievable. I was blown away when I saw this last night. I don't know if you saw my post, all right? Cleanse the Heal is so low in price right now, it's, it's unbelievably ridiculous, unprecedented. And I'm really happy about it. Amazon.com, right? Amazon reduced it. They, they, they make the price they want. That's what they do. And when this book first came out, it was $35 when it first came out. And it still didn't even pay for itself because this book is a, a medical textbook and it's, it costs more to print this. What happened is Amazon lowered it. They reduced the price. They reduced the price. But just as of last night, they made it $16.99. So if you're someone who, who couldn't afford it when it was $20 and that was 40% off, if you're somebody who couldn't afford it at $20, you hit $16.99 right now, 51% off. If you don't want to get it free at the library, you know, if you want, get it free at the library and don't even pay for it. Don't even bother. But the point is, is it's mind-blowing. I had to tell you guys, you know, because I got friends that are getting more of them for, for more of the books because of the price right now for their friends and they're for family and people they know, you know, a backup book, whatever, so they could be in a different place with it or something like that. But the whole point is I had to tell you guys, I'm blown away. By the way, these books have street cred because millions have healed all around the globe with medical medium information, got their lives back all around the globe and that's why we've been the largest health community for the chronically ill and safe space that's ever been for people to get their lives back and you know and you think that would make people so happy right they're like oh my god there's the answers and everything but you know there's a lot of jealousy out there in the in the health world a lot of haters a lot of naysayers they just don't like people getting better unless they're in control of it unless other people in the industry have control over people, but 
This is the largest health community and safe space for the chronically ill, and it's really an incredible, credible thing. And it's basically because I'm discriminated against for hearing a voice, and that's where the information comes from if you're new here. Most people in the medical medium community started their journey seeing multiple doctors. By the way, I got some things here that I want to show you too. So it's going to be part of the, the cleanse, part of the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse. So I got a few things with me. I'm going to show you in a little bit. Most people start their journey with the whole point with the medical medium information, the whole point with the books and the work that I had to do with Spirit of Compassion going all the way back was because people didn't have answers. So they came to me. I wasn't looking for them. They came to me starting back since I was a child because they were sick. They needed answers. They saw multiple doctors. You got the specialist. You got the you know, neurologist, you got the you know, pulmonologist, the endocrinologist, all the different doctors, GPs, the internist. People see a lot of doctors and they don't get the answer. Some people skip the 50 doctors. That's how the community was formed. It wasn't formed because I had a great idea. It wasn't formed because, you know, because whatever. It wasn't formed because there were money behind it. There was no money behind the entire thing. There was no money behind it. It was formed because people saw lots of doctors, had no answers, and needed a way out. And they found the information and they healed. And that's how it worked. And that's how the community has been basically constructed all that. And so... I was known as the guy, if anybody's new here, that you bring bizarre symptoms to. That's what it was like all these years. And I don't do consultations. So if you see someone that's imposturing me and they're saying they're Anthony William and they offer a consultation, that's not me. I haven't done them for years because it's all been about getting information to the masses, getting information so people can heal. So that's what it was all about. Also, I don't offer classes too. So if someone's trying to get $500, $400 from you, whatever it is, and they're saying they offer a class and they're me, it's not me, so always remember that. I've worked with many doctors over the years helping them troubleshoot their difficult cases, most difficult cases. That's what I was known for. I've worked with hundreds of doctors throughout the years and more. Feel, feel free to bring what you learned tonight to your practitioner, to your doctor, to your healer, to your whoever's, whoever's taking care of you, whoever looks after you, whoever you look up to, bring the information there. And you know, if you if you'd like, for sure, because we're gonna cover a lot of stuff like that. So keep in mind, keep in mind that lots of doctors read the medical medium books, and they even say they do. Lots of them across the country and around the globe. There's a lot of doctors where they, their ego doesn't control or run them, so it doesn't control or run them, and they so they'll say, yeah, we 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 do medical medium information. We love medical medium information. Patients bring medical medium books to doctors. There's that group, and there's many doctors that actually use medical medium information but won't admit it because their egos run them. It's perfectly normal. So that's life. It's life here on planet Earth. That's how things work. Um, but it, but it's originally information published, of course, in the Medical Medium book series. If you're new here in the whole bit, uh, Anthony has amazing skin. That defies, that's funny. Um, <clears throat> read. Uh, so I'm going to read. If you guys are here with me, you could read page 179. So I don't know if you guys get your books or anything. <clears throat> and if you don't have... The Cleanse the Heal book. Just got, just got to get ready for this book when it comes. It's a heavy book. This book is packed. It's a medical textbook. It's it's not. This is not some flimsy, thin paperback health book with some concepts that have been regurgitated. They're not original. They're not unique, and they're in a pamphlet. This is actually a real book. These are textbooks. They were meant for doctors originally. So. When I came out with the medical medium first book, that was meant for doctors, and it was meant for doctors and practitioners. And then, but I also made I, I I made it also at the same time meant for, of course, people who weren't doctors or practitioners. But doctor, but what happens is books aren't written like that. They're not written also for doctors as well. That's why the books have done so good in doctors' offices for all these years. So I got it right here. If you guys want to open up page one seventy nine. Here I am. I'm going to read a little bit about it, the whole bit, and <clears throat> tonight I'm going to walk through the medical medium, heavy metal detox cleanse, and cleanse to heal. So I just want you to know if you've just came on here, that's what I'm doing. So I'm excited about this because I don't think I've walked you guys through a cleanse at all. And I'm going to be talking about toxic heavy metals and how toxic heavy metals are responsible and the cause for so many different conditions, so many different conditions, you know? 
Um, Medical Medium Mommy says, my son was in the darkest days of autism and after two and a half years on Medical Medium information, my little Nicholas is now taking, now talking, playing and expressing his emotions. God bless AW and Spirit. That's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, that's, that's why I wake up in the morning right there, Medical Medium Mommy, because that's the whole point. It's about making sure there's answers and I, I, you worked hard. I'm sure you worked hard, you know, it's like, there's no doubt you worked hard because you got, you know, it's like, okay, what do I need to do? And you, you're, you know, an amazing mom and I'm just so proud of you, I'm so proud of you. So, um, and I'm gonna try to read some comments too along the way. You drank the Heavy Metal Detox smoothie, incredible. So, <clears throat> my son is, so, um, I did Baltros, my, my son is ADHD and with your info, he's doing so much, so much better. Thank you. Incredible, incredible. It's just so incredible. Um, it really is. So here I am, I'm in the heavy metal detox cleanse right there. So it's a heavy metal detox cleanse. I know it's like backwards probably on here. Almost nobody believes they've been exposed to toxic heavy metals. You guys, almost nobody believes they've been exposed to a toxic heavy metal. Like. And that's just the way it is. And sure, they can get sick and get their symptoms along the way. And maybe if they're sick enough and they've seen enough doctors or practitioners or they lost something in their life throughout the process, like the quality of life or, or it impeded their life, do they come to that place once they learn information like this that, wait a minute, okay, is toxic heavy metals doing this? What's happening? If you're wondering if you have toxic heavy metals and where they could come from, these suggestions may offer enlightenment. So I just want to cover a little bit here. <clears throat> have you ever had a stick of gum? Have you guys ever had a stick of gum that was wrapped in a foil wrapper? Have you ever used aluminum foil at a cookout? What about that, right? Aluminum foil at a, have you ever used aluminum foil at a cookout? There's some bad aluminum foils and they're all bad. But there's ones that are so bad that if cheese, if cheese touched that aluminum foil in heat, where there, there would be like a reaction that occurred from cheese touching aluminum foil that was heated, right? So see, so you got a like nice mac and cheese in the oven and you got foil over the top and you got it baking in that oven flakes of aluminum foil that you can't see and even can see sometimes it's rare but you can flakes of aluminum foil will literally be all throughout the top of that mac and cheese people just don't know this and that look it, it, it's not about being afraid like oh my god i had that mac and cheese whoa aw is telling me it's what am i gonna do no it's about just hey let's get the metals out that's what it is and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna walk you through this cleanse i'm just reading a little bit at the beginning here so have you ever used aluminum foil at a cookout? Just talked about that. E e eaten from aluminum takeout container. Have you guys ever done that? I mean, hey, or used aluminum kitchen tools, which, yeah, look, look, aluminum, aluminum kitchen tools where it's a medley of metals with aluminum in there too. You have to remember that. I'm in Cleanse the Heal right here. By the way, if you just got on here, Cleanse the Heal is dirt cheap. When I mean dirt cheap, it's unbelievable right now. It's 51% off of Amazon.com. I've never seen them do that. The book book was $35 originally. It's $16.99. I don't know how long it'll be. It'll probably change soon, but I'm just letting you know. If you don't want to get it free at the library, there's an option for you. <clears throat> so kitchen tools, aluminum blend in the metal tool. What, what, even if it doesn't seem like it's all aluminum, have you ever sipped seltzer? Sip seltzer? Beer. How many of you guys have beer out of a can? Soft drinks from an aluminum can. Once, maybe once, maybe twice. Still. What about silver fillings? I know a lot of people don't have them. They're not getting silver fillings, you know, not like the old days. A lot of people had the silver fillings, but here's the thing. What about mom? having the silver fillings? What about dad having the silver fillings? It passes on from generation to generation to generation. You can be 30 years old right now, not have silver fillings, have a child, the child can still have toxic heavy metals like mercury from that silver filling because 
the 30 year old who doesn't have any silver in their mouth, doesn't have any of those amalgams in their mouth, has gotten the mercury from mom and dad who had the mercury fillings or their mom and dad. That's how mercury works. It goes down the line just like that, okay? And you guys don't have to be scared. It's not about that. And you know, look, it's just about getting the metals out. I don't want you scared of pots and pans. I don't want you scared of, you know, high quality pots and pans, all right? I don't want you scared of silverware. It's not about that. It's literally about, let's get the metals out while we're living our life down here. You know, let's get the metals out while we're like trying to like live. And that's what it's about. It's about empowerment. Uh, you guys know this. I don't know, maybe the new people here might not be aware of this yet, but medical medium information has always been about empowerment. In fact, when the first medical medium book came on the scene, it was the only medical empowerment book out. And I'm not talking about spiritual, about medical empowerment, having answers it was the old first time, boom, there was, there was actually answers to why we're sick. <clears throat> it's all about that. So many people have been exposed to mercury throughout, the, you know, throughout those dental fillings. Having them removed, you know, isn't just an easy fix either. You know, that's how we also get more mercury in us. But even though we have to get some removed over time because they break, like I talk about, or crack or the tooth cracks or something, that's when you get them out. The extraction process can be re-exposed, you know, can be a re-exposure for someone with the mercury fillings <clears throat> because it emits mercury vapor throughout the bloodstream. That's why I recommend only having one silver filling removed per dentist visit. And that's only if the silver filling is starting to fall apart or loosen or if there's a problem with the tooth. So we're going to be reading, we're going to, I'm going to walk you through the heavy metal detox cleanse. So that's what we're going to do. Have you ever had a fluoride treatment? Yeah, right? How many people had a fluoride treatment, even if not recently? Have you had one at any point over the years, perhaps going back to childhood? The fluoride used for treatments is a byproduct of aluminum, a methyl aluminum neurotoxin created from manufacturing aluminum. Almost all of us have been exposed to it in one way or another. And whether from fluoride treatments, from toothpaste or fluoridated tap water, <clears throat> and if we're if we had that exposure, it hasn't left our bodies unless we've taken the proper steps to remove it. Make sure if you're worried about fluoridated tap water, if you're worried about these things in your tap water, make sure you have a water pure of fire, not a water filter, not not a water, not an alkaline water ionizer machine that doesn't take care of these things. Most of these things it just won't. Make sure it's a water purifier if you're really worried about what's in your water. And I've been saying that to people forever. Speaking of tap water, town and city water supplies all have trace levels of toxic heavy metals such as lead, arsenic, copper, aluminum, and even mercury that are deemed safe enough for consumption without true knowledge of what happens when those trace minerals accumulate in our body. So we drink the tap water and those metals accumulate in our body. That's what happens. We drink the, we drink the tap water and our, those metals accumulate in our body. And I just don't want confusion because people say, well, my alkaline ionizer water machine takes care of all that in the tap water. It doesn't. It doesn't. So it's very important to know these things. So we, you know, and I've talked about that before, but I just want to make sure since we're talking about water that that's clear. So, you know, RO takes care of it. Other things take care of it. That's, you know, that's the whole thing. So even if you have a water filtration system at home, a good one, like a purifier, a purifier, you're exposed when eating out. So we're exposed when eating out, you guys. Consider, for example, getting a coffee at your favorite coffee shop. Are you guys doing coffee drinks? You doing matcha tea drinks, coffee drinks, anything else at the coffee shops or anything? Hey, let me get out there. Let me start my YouTube video in the car. And I'm going to be now doing my YouTube video. What's a day in life for me? You know, my YouTube channel, right? And I'm heading off. Wait, I'm going to pull into this restaurant here. I got to run in here real quick. Pull into this coffee shop. I got to get my favorite type of coffee drink. Okay, I'm back in the car. Everybody's watching me, right? On my video. Now I'm heading to my workout, whatever it is. The point is, is that water is not filtered like you think it is. It's just not. So I just want to be straight up about this stuff. It's like, what do I do? Do I not tell you guys the truth and just play neutral 24-7 and you guys pay the price? Or do I say it like it is and take all the crap I get 24-7 from all the naysayers and haters and everybody else? I'd rather have your back. That's better because then I could sleep at night. 
you know, so here's the deal. So, you know, so, you know, one cup of coffee made from the shop's tap water seems perfectly safe, but it's not. One does, you know, and so does one glass of tap water at a restaurant seems per perfectly safe, but it's not. So does one, you know, one ice in a restaurant. That's another thing. Or a, a cup of tea, you know, a cup of tea, brewed tea. Or soda from a soda fountain that's hooked up. Has anybody ever had that before? Soda from like a restaurant, right? No one thinks about what happens after 10 years of stopping by for your coffee every day of how many metals accumulate, right? You know, it's like, you know, I was thought about it. I thought about it and I was like, okay, do I want to drop the metals to talk about metals and everything? And I'm like, yeah, like, aren't they supposed to know? Isn't everybody supposed to know? Because, okay, live in denial or be afraid or learn and learn how to get metals out and heal. I mean, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. Um, so, you know, we get accumulations of lead, aluminum, arsenic, mercury, copper. And what happens when they get in our brain over time? Does it get in our brain? If you just got on here, I'm going to be walking you through the medical medium, heavy metal, detox, cleanse, and cleanse and heal. I got my items over here. They're already pre-made though, because, you know, it's I'd be hard right now to get a blender, get everything else going here, but I got everything here. Um, <clears throat> so... What about bathing water, brushing your teeth, all that with the tap water? Have you ever used water that flowed through copper pipes in someone's lifetime? You know, eczema, eczema and psoriasis, unknown to research and science, and, and only known to the medical medium information, copper plays a role, copper inside our liver plays a role to eczema and psoriasis. Do you ever eat out consuming food, cooked food that have been used, they, uh, metal utensils? Oh my God, so many restaurants, they, beat the crap out of the bottom of those pots with metal tools. And they're making it, and they're doing the sauce in there, and they're whoo, booing this like that, and all these pots. I know people that, I know people that own restaurants. I know people that worked in restaurants. And the pots, I remember being at my friend's restaurant and standing there in the back kitchen, and I would look at the pots. They were high quality, but the amount of gouges that were on the bottom of that pot, I'm like, where did I said to my friend, where do you think all this went? It's like, what do you mean? Those are high quality pots. Those are $150 a piece. I'm like, where do you think all that metal went? It went into everybody's meals. Everybody. Not at my restaurant. No, in everybody's restaurant. Um, so anyway, yeah, isn't this fun? <laughs> it's probably annoying, right? All right. So restaurants are one of the most common sources of toxic heavy metal exposure. Not that it's anybody's fault the well-meaning restaurant you know owner of course we just need to work on taking the metals out if we want to play if you guys want to play reindeer games out there right <laughs> if we want to play reindeer games and live you know we want to be a roman live like what all the romans and we want to do that then we, we got to also be proactive about taking care of ourselves or we just end up with dementia way down the road or memory problems or or whatever everything i was talking about you know um, Wild Blueberry Kiss. Medical medium protocols have significantly shifted my psoriasis. After 30 years of trying everything else, Wild Blueberry Kiss, I believe you in trying everything else. Like 30 years of trying everything else. And I love when people want to pin me down as, oh, everybody knew about fruits and vegetables. He's just another one of those fruits and vegetables guy, no processed foods, and that's why people get better. Isn't that an insult to you? Because think about it. You knew to take away processed foods. You knew about uh, fruits and vegetables, right? Blueberry Kiss, you knew about <laughs> fruit, fruits and vegetables. You knew about these things. But I love how the haters, they just love to try to pin me down as generic. Like, he doesn't know anything different than everybody knows. Oh, no. Meanwhile, some of those haters actually healed from only medical medium information. That's the irony to it. But I'm proud of you because that means you got information you didn't have anywhere else if it took 30 years and you tried everything else. And I'm not going to insult you. I believe you tried everything else. And I believe that. And, you know, I mean, it, 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 it's incredible how it works. Um, people who keep knives in their households, right? Knives. How does a knife dull? How does a knife get dull? How? Well, I, I, I have a friend that's got a knife so, like, half the knife is missing. It's like, it's my favorite knife. Favorite knife for 40 years, <laughs> you know, right? I'm like, favorite knife for 40 years? That knife is inside of you. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, dude, 
that knife is inside of you. It's all you know, like on your cutting board for 30 years, you know, and you're sharpening it and all the stuff on it. And then you're cutting, you're cutting, you're cutting, you know, and, and then the knife is wearing down. The knife is wearing down. I was like, dude, you got half a knife inside you. When do you want to get it out? When, when do you want to remove that half a knife out of you? Because I'm going to help you do it. Anyway, the medical medium cleanse the heel book if you just got on here. And I'm going to be doing the uh, medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie, you guys. All right. Okay. We got a cruise. We got a lot to talk about. I have to work you through this cleanse, right? There's a, <laughs> I got to, you know, I got to be quiet. <laughs> All right. What about the, what about the tuna roll you've enjoyed from your favorite sushi bar? You guys ever done the sushi bar thing, right? It's fun. Yummy, right? Yeah. Lots of metal comes from that. No joke. Lots of metals. That's just straight out. I'm just being straight out. Have to be with that one. And, you know, and, you know, and what about just tuna fish all on its own? Have you eaten that? Look, you don't, if you think you're eating grass fed beef instead, so you think you're in the clear, think again. Grass fed beef, I'll tell you right now, they use all the tools to cut the cow up. How, do the, how does the cow get magically cut up? in sections and pieces, and oh, I have a little tenderloins, I'll have this, I'll have whatever it is, you know, uh, filet mignon, whatever it is, <laughs> right? And how is that happening? And how are like bones cut and other things, machinery, grease on machinery? I've seen, I know that when, gra and I'm not making fun of grass-fed beef, I'm not making fun of anything. I, I, we got animal protein people here, we got vegans and plant-based people here, because this is about answers, not about what diet belief system's better or not, right? And when they're cutting up the cow, they're using machines. You know, bone broth people don't know that when, to cut that bone, there's grease, which has metal in it, with a saw blade, like one of those saw blades that cuts through those bone pieces so you can make your bone broth. The amount of metal people get in bone broth is, is unbelievable and no one knows it. So let's do something to get it out. Nobody knows this stuff. And, um, and, and you know, and, and all of that, you know, it's the whole bit. You wouldn't believe what they have to do for tools when, when they're cutting grass-fed beef up. You wouldn't believe because those knives dull so quick going through all that. It's unbelievable. It's just resharp and resharp and resharp and metal, metal, metal. And then the grass fed, the grass is still got metals on the grass. It comes out of the sky. It's in jet fuel. It's dropping from all over the places. It's in, it's in DDT that floats around the atmosphere. <clears throat> it's in, it's in uh, chemtrails. Metal is dumping out of chemtrails, pouring out of chemtrails on everyone. Okay, it's not about being afraid. I'm not afraid because I have the tools to get the metals out. That's the whole point. It's simple as that. And it, listen, if you guys think I have an ego, you know, people are like, oh, he's got an ego. It's just for saying nobody knows this. This. What am I going to do? Am I going to, uh, what am I going to do? Am I not going to be truthful? Okay, am I not going to be truthful about unique published information in these books that my publisher knows these books aren't cited for a reason? I can't get away with doing medical books without citing every single thing of where it came from. And there's no citations in these. The reason why there's no citations in these, it's all original and unique. So am I gonna just pretend that everybody knows all this so you can go get information over there? The problem is when you go over there, you don't get the whole story or you don't get all the information you need. And then you end up like Blueberry Kiss. She tried everything for 30 years until she got rid of her psoriasis through the medical medium information. But if I don't let people know that, how are they gonna know? How are they gonna know all the things that, that are original in here? How? You know, and it's kind of sad. It's like, <clears throat> it's like the whole thing is like one of, the, you know, the whole thing about that is really interesting is how are people gonna find their way to get the answer? So that's what it's about. So let's go here, um, I'm reading a little bit more. And what about pharmaceuticals? The metals that are in pharmaceuticals. I just wanna cover that too. And I could go into that all day about pharmaceuticals. I can go into all the metals <clears throat> when it comes down to that. And in the air we breathe, the toxic heavy metals are coming out of exhaust, that too. I mean, listen, there's so many places you guys can get toxic heavy metals. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. And, and um, but yeah, if you want, you can call it an ego. I don't care, that's fine with me. 
I call it just, you know, hey, I'm gonna say the truth of where it comes from. I've helped 30, for 35 years, I helped over 250,000 individuals one-on-one -on -one for 35 years before publishing the medical medium books. I didn't appear out of social media thin air, like boom. And that's why when you look here, and you'll see millions of copies sold of the medical medium book series, millions around the world. That's because the platform isn't social media. It's everywhere around the world in almost every country in the world. And that's how many people are healing. I, just for any new people, because I know they're going to come across and say, wait a minute, my this other person I know talks about metals. Well, we're going to talk, we talk about things and what's happening like nobody does. It's important. So let's go. <clears throat> here we are. And, um, I want to go into a little bit more here, too. There's so much information. Truth is, many varieties of toxic heavy metals build up in us over time. They build up in us over time. And these are only some of the opportunities we have in us for toxic heavy metals, for collecting toxic heavy metals in our bodies. Toxic heavy metals are hidden and unseeable. We don't see it, we don't think we have a problem. Technology is not up to par for finding out about toxic heavy metals. Technology can't see the decaying flesh inside our brains with Alzheimer's from oxidative material, byproduct, oxidating and rusting off of pockets of toxic heavy metals and then leaching into adjacent tissue and, and making it impossible for someone to heal with Alzheimer's unless they get metals out. Hair testing doesn't do the trick. It doesn't. Hair testing doesn't do the trick because the metals are in our organs. That's where the metals go. Unless you just got brand new exposure, a heavy dosage, and then you can check, check it in the bloodstream. And But that's only for a day or two. After a day or two, boom, it's in organs, and that's where it goes. So toxic heavy metals are hidden and unseeable. It's impossible to witness that they reside within us, you guys. It's hard to see that no technology has been created yet to truly determine the toxic heavy metals inside our organs. The need for such technology isn't even on research and science's radar. Okay, wait a minute here. Research and science doesn't care about metals inside of us. You guys know this. You guys know how controversial metals are. So many of you guys do, right? <clears throat> seasoned, you know, a lot of you guys that are seasoned. And research and science doesn't care about metals. They don't care about metals with anxiety, depression, all the different conditions I talked about, folks in concentration, brain fog, they don't care. Well, so let's go into a little bit. While direct exposure to a large amount of heavy metal, such as lead, can be detected in the bloodstream temporarily, all the other exposure that we get just goes and goes and goes into organs. That's the whole point. Instead, medical research and science tends to blame chronic illness on our faulty bodies and genes. That's how it works. The research, research and science doesn't want to know it's toxic heavy metals. Research and science wants to think it's your genes. Research in science wants to think it's your body attacking itself. Alternative research in science, alternative wants to believe it's your body attacking itself. When you crack down to it, it goes right down to conventional. Did you know that, that alternative medicine still is, is, is basically the puppy dog for conventional medicine in so many ways? Alternative medicine will still be like, no, it's your fault in the end. And then spiritual medicine will tell you that you created, created it with your own thoughts and that's why you're sick. Spiritual alternative medicine. And that's not the way to go. I'm going to cleanse the heel right now. If you guys don't know, it's $16. It's 51% it's off at Amazon.com. I've never seen that before ever. It's really amazing. So let's go into this a little bit more. <clears throat> what toxic heavy metals do to us? Let's go into this. And then I'm going to walk you through the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse. Much as we may not want to believe it, we all have toxic heavy metals inside our bodies. Mercury, aluminum, copper, lead, nickel, cadmium, barium, arsenic, and toxic calcium accumulate in different areas of different organs. The two most popular places that gather are in the brain and the liver. That's the spots they gather. That's where it goes. Toxic heavy metals carry a disruptive charge that interferes with the electricity that travels through your brain. Toxic heavy metals interfere with the electrical impulses, all that electricity that runs through our brain that's swimming around. So really important to know. Neurotransmitter chemicals 
are meant to use the electrical neuro highway there to carry information and life force to every cell in your brain. When toxic heavy metals such as mercury and aluminum are present, are present, electrical impulses weaken as they hit these deposits. Electrical impulses weaken as they hit all of these deposits. So important though. Electrical activity becomes diffused. And that's why we get that depression. Why am I depressed? Why do I have depersonalization? Why do I have anxiety? Why do I have brain fog, focus and concentration issues? Why do I have all these problems? Electrical activity becomes diffused and that leads to a host of symptoms and conditions that can develop over a lifetime. Brain fog, memory issues, confusion, anxiety. You guys dealing with any anxiety that you're like, well, I don't know why I have anxiety. I shouldn't. This other person's also stressed out and they don't have anxiety, but I'm stressed out and I do. Got to get the metals out. Depression are just a few. Toxic heavy metals in the brain can lead to Alzheimer's disease, dementia, ALS, Parkinson's, and even, di and even diagnosis is such bipolar mania and schizophrenia. So it's important to know this is advanced, unique information. People don't know that out there. That's not out there. So, um, and I have to tell you because it's not. It, it, all these illnesses and diseases and metals being the cause is actually originally all medical medium information. I'm just letting people know. And, and it's important. You know, a doctor friend of mine tells me, your information's unique. Why aren't you telling them that? Because then they're kind of like, they don't know, they think it's somewhere else, or they think that everybody has this, or, and then they get lost and they can't, they can't heal because they're just gonna go spinning around. And a doctor friend told me that. By the way, I'm gonna have um, a doctor friend on live coming up and I'll let you guys know when it is, but I'm gonna have a guest on and we're gonna split the screen and we're gonna do this, it's gonna be great. Anyway, there's so much good stuff coming. I'm so excited, by the way. So let's go into a little bit more here. It's not only that heavy metal deposits themselves can be a problem, so having a heavy metal deposit in our brain can be a problem, all right? Toxic heavy metals oxidize inside our body. They oxidize. They actually oxidize, and that's the problem, and they discharge a byproduct. That's why we get sick is a big piece of it. That's why we get sicker in so many ways, you guys, because not only do we have the metal deposits inside our brain and inside our body in other places, it starts to get old. It starts to oxidize. It starts to discharge. And when it's discharging, we get sicker. The memory starts going, starts going more, starts going more. Anxiety starts getting worse, starts getting worse more. All these things because the metals are oxidizing. And then if we learn how to eat better, we can kind of curve it a little bit, okay? We can curve it because we're doing something to help at least get some of the oxidation out, but not enough. So let's go into here a little bit more, okay? <clears throat> okay, so we're heading to the heavy metal detox cleanse. I'm gonna cleanse the heel right here. I'm glad to be here, you guys, okay? And by now, you can see the value of getting toxic heavy metals out of your body. I'm just reading straight out of here, all right? The heavy metal detox cleanse is critical for anyone struggling with the above symptoms and conditions and also critical for eczema, psoriasis. Critical for eczema and psoriasis because nobody knew that copper was the problem, like one of the big issues with eczema and psoriasis till the medical medium information. That's why there's miraculous eczema and psoriasis stories, thousands of them around the world, thousands of people healing it. And no one's seen that before. It brings me a lot more hate though. It brings the, a lot more associations and groups and medical this and this and this. They don't like that. They don't like people healing to that degree. That, they just don't like it. It's not just about fruits and vegetables. That game is that game is, is cute and all, oh, just fruits and vegetables and no processed foods. Um, no, it's not. You can do fruits and vegetables, no processed foods, and I've seen people, they can't even put a shirt on, their eczema is so bad, they're suffering, suffering unless they know about getting the copper out. So important, you guys, it really is. Eczema, eczema and psoriasis are signs of someone dealing with an elevation of toxic copper inside the liver. 
where Epstein-Barr is also present because you need a pathogen such as Epstein-Barr to feed off of the copper and the copper byproduct. And then when the virus that everybody has inside of us feeds off of that copper, it releases a dermatoxin. So the people with eczema and psoriasis have the copper unlike somebody else who doesn't have the copper. Somebody else could have chronic fatigue syndrome because they have the Epstein-Barr, okay? But they don't have the copper. And somebody else will have the copper and the Epstein-Barr is feeding off the copper, releasing a poison. When the poison's released, it's called a dermatoxin. That's a, a advanced information ahead of science and research and doctors are actually looking to these books because of this now. And then that dermatoxin goes to the skin, especially when the liver's toxic, sluggish, and it goes to the skin and it creates those eruptions and the rashes and everything else. The dermatoxin is pushed into the bloodstream and that's what happens from the liver. So I'll talk about some other thing. Vitiligo is an overload of aluminum. Overload of aluminum inside the liver. That's vitiligo. So you might be a vitiligo sufferer and you've already had damaged pigment in your skin, the melanin, you've already had that. But you know, It'll keep on continuing on and off. Oh, sure, if you eat better, take away processed foods and eat cleaner, eat, cl eat clean paleo, eat clean plant-based, eat clean high protein, keto, whatever you want to do, and you can slow it down because you're at least giving your body a chance for the liver to, to clean a little better, the bloodstream to flow a little bit better, but the vitiligo can still not only not heal, but keep on getting worse as the years go by until you address the aluminum inside the liver. Um, and young children with levels of undetected mercury and aluminum inside the liver and brain often deal with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, difficulty regulating concentration and focus, learning differences and behavioral issues, obsessive compulsive disorder, OCD, toxic heavy metals, you guys. I'm reading out of Cleanse to Heal, okay? Um, yeah, Corella, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. <laughs> no, don't do Corella. It's not a good thing. I don't want anybody doing the Corella when it comes down to this. I'll tell you why. So toxic heavy metals can create symptoms. Symptoms can shape who we are. They become part of who we are. And, you know, in so many ways. And they become our story. But we don't want to live with symptoms forever. And we all that stuff. So let's go into this. I'm in the heavy metal detox cleanse now. Here we are. Okay, I'm in cleanse to heal. Um, if you're interested in this book, Amazon.com has an incredible sale right now on this book. Um, this book specifically, 51% off. It's just, it's crazy, really. I, I'm actually really happy about it. I just want people to have the book. Um, get it free at the library if $16 is still, still too dicey for somebody, you know, at these times. Um, so, okay, let's go. What is the heavy metal detox cleanse? It's part of a it's like part of a routine, a morning routine, with the addition of having something that's removing metals, because that's what it is. So at first, drink 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water, okay? That's the first thing you want to do. 16 to 32 ounces of lemon or lime water upon waking. I'm just, I'm reading the book. We're, I'll be walking you through this right now, okay? And you can see a recipe for this. There's a recipe in back, okay, chapter 23. You can see the recipe back here. And you can see the recipe for the proper ratio. And, okay, so that's the first thing. You want to do that prepping. That's what this is. It's prepping. So why drink 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water? How come? Like, why drink it? That's the question right there all on its own. You'll start the day... With let you know, you'll start the day with lemon or lime water to prime the toxic heavy metals in your system to be more easily removed. You're priming the toxic heavy metals in your system to be more easily removed. It's imperative that you're hydrated enough that when the heavy metal detox smoothie goes into your body, into your system, it's able to gather things and pull them out of the body. If you're dehydrated, it's a harder task. This has to be done a special way. So the what in the book is 16 to 32 ounces of lemon water right here. There's a recipe in the back of the book. There's 75 recipes in the back of the book. There's a recipe of what of, of proper ratios and all that, okay? Inside Cleanse to Heal right here, if you guys are on right now. So that's important to know. And the why drink 
16 to 32 ounces of lemon water. How come? How come he wants us to do this? It's because you're priming the toxic heavy metals in your system to be more accessible, more easily removed. That's why it's imperative that you're hydrated enough that when the toxic heavy metal smoothie starts uprooting, uprooting metals, when it starts to uproot them and trying to remove them, it's easier. You got adequate flushing, adequate hydration to flush them out. That's the key right there. So let's keep on moving on. So we're in the heavy metal detox cleanse. You see all my little notes here? I always love, I love post-it notes. Love them, love them, love them. So, you know, because I could, I just love quickly going to things. Let's go into another part. Okay, <clears throat> the next part, drink, okay, 15 to 30 minutes later. 15 to 30 minutes later roughly is fine. You know, or you can, you can wait a little bit longer. You know, it could be a little bit longer if you need. That's fine too, right? So drink 16 to 32 ounces of celery juice right here. Celery juice on an empty stomach. I talk about why it's on an empty stomach, uh, medical medium information, is the, the whole thing is the, um, what, it's the originator of the celery juice movement in the world if you're brand new and you don't know where celery juice started from, came from. And I never said ever someone never juiced a stalk of celery with their carrots or juiced celery. Therapeutically, it's herbal medicine, um, and how to do it, 16 ounces on an empty stomach, how it works, what it does in our body, it's all it, incredible, it's all unique information, spirit of compassion, that's what's a beautiful thing. Um, started recommending celery juice in the early 70s. So if you wanna know how that whole thing started, it starts from here. So let's go, let's go into this right now, drink 32 ounces of celery juice on an empty stomach, wait at least 15 to 30 minutes, that's what you need to do. So let's go into this a little bit right here, okay? Celery juice comes next to loosen up metals, preparing them to be gathered up by the heavy metal detox smoothie. So it takes more than just the lemon water to loosen these up, okay? The celery juice is the next phase to loosen up these toxic heavy metals, getting them prepped for the heavy metal detox smoothie. That's really important, okay? Celery juice also helps restore areas where the toxic heavy metals caused damage. They cause damage. Metals sit and rust and rot. That's what they do. And they sit and they hurt cells. They hurt tissue. That's what metals do, okay? Well, you remove the metals, you still got the damaged tissue, you still got the cells that aren't, you know, they still got the neurotransmitters, electrical impulse problems, you still got all this stuff. But what's fixing it? What's helping fix it? That's the whole point. And so celery juice also helps restore areas inside organs that have been damaged by toxic heavy metals while the sodium cluster salts, not sodium, sodium cluster salts, which is a subgroup of sodium, undiscovered by research and science. I talked about it all through the medical medium books, okay? You can look into it. Sodium cluster salts, the undiscovered subgroup of sodium that science and research has not uncovered yet, and I don't think they're gonna care to look, to be honest, because mainstream media just loves to say, sorry, juice doesn't work. <laughs> Meanwhile, we know what happened with how the whole world has changed because of it. Um, so that's what's amazing. Basically, the sodium cluster salts and celery juice, you guys, helps disarm the toxic heavy metal charge metals inside our body have a destructive charge. Aluminum, lead, mercury, arsenic, all of it, copper, has a destructive charge. The celery juice, the sodium cluster salts and celery juice help to disarm that charge to make them less aggressive and make them more malleable. Malleable for the next phase of the heavy metal detox cleanse. So let's go into there. 15, 30 minutes later, or a little later if you want, longer too if you want, a little bit longer, you drink the heavy metal detox smoothie. And I got one right here. That's the one right here. Heavy metal detox smoothie, okay? You'll find the recipe on page 300. Let me show you real quick what that looks like. So heavy metal detox smoothie recipe. It's one of the 75 recipes in here right there. There it is right there. So we got that, okay? So it's important right there. So let's talk about why do we need that medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie, okay? And 
you know, th th this heavy metal detox smoothie, just so you know, is worldwide famous, okay? Legit, it, what, it's in stores. It's not, it's not me. I'm not putting them in stores. I don't own all the, the, you know, all the different stuff people are trying to do with it. People are actually, meaning people are actually like, put this is in juice bars and stuff where they say, hey, the medical medium, heavy metal detox smoothie, people talk about it around the world. You might even be seeing it out there. It's incredible. And that smoothie right there is in millions of people's homes right now in, in almost every country of the world. And, you know, it, it, it's really important to know this. All right, so let's go. So I saw a comment, I think, about, okay, someone earlier, or somebody earlier said that spirulina has too much copper. Okay, it doesn't. That's the whole thing. And what happens is here is that there's bad copper, bad copper. That's the difference right there, okay? Hard, bad copper from copper pipes, from other sources that we have copper passed down to us, from fungicides that's on your clothing. So here's the difference. The copper inside a fungicide that's on your brand new clothing that you try on, that gets into our body and inside our liver is not the same copper that's in fruits, not the same copper that's in vegetables, not the same copper that's in herbs, not the same copper that's in spirulina. It's not the same copper. That's trace mineral, that's trace mineral copper that's in all of our foods. So I just don't want that confusion. So it's really a good question right there. There's trace minerals in all of our foods. That's different than a copper pipe that's decaying with hard, toxic copper, destructive charge that's not a food that's getting into our bodies from all these different, on, on all these different levels, you know? And a high quality spirulina, like, you know, if you look at the directory, you'll see in the back of the book and, and the medicalmedium.com, you go to directory, you'll see high quality spirulina, you don't, it, it's even, even better no matter what, all the way. Um, so let's go into this a little bit. I know the Vimergy uh, one, the Vimergy spirulina has been tested, tested. They actually test it independently for toxic heavy metals. They test it independently, the Vimergy. And that doesn't happen everywhere else. That's really rare. So that's what's incredible. And it's not grown, it's not grown in the ocean either. So that's another thing. So not only is the Vimergy spirulina tested independently for toxic heavy metals, they pay for that. And the amount of cost that is, other companies, they don't do that. The amount of cost for that is unbelievable. It's not grown in the ocean where you have toxic heavy metals in the ocean either. So that's another thing too. So let's go into this a little bit more. And these are all important things and that's why people heal. Um, so let's go into this a little bit. Okay, heavy metal detox smoothie is the main event here, you guys. The only heavy metal detox protocol available with the right combination of ingredients to extract deep-seated toxic heavy metals from your organs and round up free-floating metals and oxidative runoff. That's why people have been healing around the globe with the medical medium heavy metal detox smoothie. It's, it, you do it right, make it right at your home. I'm gonna talk about the ingredients. You'll find much more on how this works and why it's important on the pages to follow when you go in here with Cleanse to Heal, okay? So, after your heavy metal detox smoothie, you guys, you might get hungry again, okay? Before lunchtime, if you're one of those people that's hungry again before lunchtime, stick to snacking on apples, okay? Have one that you, maybe one favorite one you like. Some people like Randy Smith, some people like Fuji, some people like different apples, Pink Lady, there's all kinds of different apples, Braeburn, um, Gala, whatever apple that you guys like, you know? That would be amazing, okay? So snack on apples. You're welcome to chop up the apples, create your own raw applesauce. You can do that too. I mean, that's what I like to do. I, I take apples, I chop it up, I throw it in a blender, and I throw it in a you know, food processor, and I actually, I actually make my own applesauce. I love that. And if you don't want to make your own fresh applesauce, you know, and you want to find an applesauce that has no preservatives, a cooked one that's in a, a glass jar, that's fine too. If you can't find apples, write pears for snacks. So that's important too. So let's go in here a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna go into the why with the apples. If you're hungry later in the morning, apples are an excellent snack because they're a powerful medicinal cleansing food. I'm reading right out of the book here. The pectin in apples helps absorb bile coming from the liver into the intestinal tract. Bile 
that may have traces of toxic heavy metals in it due to everything that we're dealing with. A liver filled with metals, all of it. A liver filled with metals, you name it. And the heavy metal detox smoothie is uprooting metals everywhere. So if you have traces that are in the bile because the heavy metal detox smoothie is uprooting it and taking it out of the body, the apples is a great snack because it even helps to absorb that bile that could have some of that you know, extra metal. But that's what's incredible about it. So there's a reason you're keeping your morning free from radical fats. That's a whole nother thing that, that's happening with the medical medium heavy metal detox cleanse is you're keeping your morning free from radical fats because you want to keep your blood from thickening so that the toxic heavy metals can detox more easily. So, okay, what's in here, by the way? You got, you know, you can look at the recipe that's in Cleanse to Heal. I got my heavy metal detox smoothie right here. And you got the wild blueberries, the, the you know, um, that you got that, the wild blueberries, you got the spirulina, okay, the best spirulina, you got the barley grass juice powder, you got the fresh cilantro, and you got the Atlantic dolls. Check it out, how to do it, all of that. Um, so, yeah, and by the way, I answer so many questions. You're gonna have so many questions about cleanse about all this stuff in the book how everything works i mean i walk people through the whole bit so um so uh Antonia says how long after how long after the celery juice sorry okay how long after the celery juice do i drink the heavy metal detox smoothie um go with 15 to 30 minutes unless you want to wait a little longer you're welcome to do that. I mean, I like 15 to 30 minutes. You could wait. If you feel like, whoa, I just had 32 ounces of celery juice and I want to wait a little while, fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, there's one thing I have to tell you about the heavy metal detox smoothie. Make sure the key ingredients are in there. If you want to change up the fruit, because you want more banana in there and you got, that's the fruit you have. Or you got, you know, you got a, another, you got a mango and you want to put that in there. Or you want to put something else in your heavy metal detox smoothie, that's a fruit, okay? You know, make sure though you still have those wild blueberries. And if you can't find frozen wild blueberries, then then the Vimergy wild blueberry powder is the best on the market. But make sure though that you, you have those key ingredients in your smoothie because that's the key. And you can, if you need to change up the fruits, because that's all you have. And that's what you want to put in there. You want to put a little bit more orange in there. You want to put something in there. Then that's what you do. So I cover over 200 symptoms and conditions and what the true causes are and how to address it with supplementation and dosages. Read the whole supplement chapter two with along with it. You guys, it's $16.99 right now on Amazon.com. 51% off. I almost can't believe it when I say it. You know, the whole bit. Um... Okay, so um, Katrina, hi Anthony, I was, the thing's flipping constantly, so it takes me a second, you guys. Hi Anthony, I was doing the heavy metal detox smoothie every day, but I felt suddenly sickened by them. You were doing it every day for how long? Quite a while? It could have been something else that easily could have tripped you up. I was having symptoms of too many minerals. Is it possible that one teaspoon of spirulina and barley grass juice powder could be too much? No, that's actually the minimum. And it's a tiny amount. Um, what else were you eating that day, the day before? What was happening during that week? Are you up against any stress, any emotional stuff happening? Um, what products are you using? Um, all these things matter. And, and how would you know the minerals are tripping you up? Like where'd that information come from? Um, all these things matter. The, the smoothie is so gentle and benign. Um, it's unbelievable compared to what's out there. It's incredible. I mean, anything. I mean, there's so many different things that could have got you, could have got you down for a little bit. So what I'm saying is, don't give up, um, and you know, bring it back in when you get a chance, or you know, or talk to your practitioner, your doctor, or however. Bring it back in slowly, if you'd like. Which I tell people to do is, you bring it back slowly. If I ever see something like that, what happens is too is we we have other things happening in our body, and it's good to actually always know that. Hey, wait a minute here. I've been doing the smoothie for a while. Um, didn't have any problems with it. So make sure you, you can always try to bring it back. Another thing is do a small amount. You can do small amount, do a half teaspoon, do a quarter teaspoon, do a much small one. And the heavy metal detox smoothie can't cause neurological symptoms. So that's one thing it can't cause. 
um, pathogens cause neurological symptoms. So Katrina, just so you know, read the the, Med the Cleanse the Heal book if you already have. Pathogens cause heavy metal detox. No, sorry, pathogens cause symptoms. Heavy metal detox smoothies uh, don't. Um, anyway, I'm heading over to Facebook, you guys. I'm jumping off quick because if it ends in uh, too close to time, we're gonna be we're gonna lose the whole hour. Love you guys. See you over at Facebook.